Hi, I'm Ms. Sharon for Cumberland County Public Library at the Bordeaux Branch. I want to welcome you to Preschool Story Time. We're having fun this summer with our summer reading program called Tells and Tells. And we're talking about stories and animals with tells. Today, we're going to be talking about turtles. I like turtles and I have some fun things for us to do about turtles. But before we can get to all that fun, we have to have a well welcome song to let everybody know it's time to start. Okay, so let's go through our motions real quick for somebody who might be a little bit new. Okay, remember, we're going to say hello. You take your hand and bring it out. So hello. And you have two friends. They're your fingers. And you're going to let them hug each other. One, two, and then we we'll talk about time in our song, and I have a watch on my arm. You may or may not, probably not, but you can point to your wrist where a watch would go. So that would be our word time, and for our word say, we point to our mouth. All right, ready? Here we go. All right. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Yay! Good job. Well, I promised you things about turtles, and I happen to have a friend with me today, and this is Mr. Turtle, and he is so excited that I'm telling tales about him and his friends family and he has a special story a special tale to tell today about when turtle ran a race against mr whoop he's down there low let me grab him <gasps> mr <gasps> coyote so mr coyote was very good friends with turtle so he stopped by his good friend Turtle's house, and Turtle invited him in. Come in, Coyote. Set yourself down, and let's have some refreshment together. So Coyote was all about that because he was quite hungry, and he hadn't found any food. So he goes into Turtle's house, and they sit down, and they're talking and talking, and Turtle reclines back on some cushions and says, oh, I am tired too. Today, I ran a race with my people, the other turtles. Well, Coyote thought, turtles, how did a race? He thought that sounded awfully funny, that, but trying not to laugh, he says, <laughs> who won? And Turtle says, why, that is why my shell isn't green today. That's why it's painted all these lovely colors. I won the race and my shell's painted to celebrate. And Coyote says, well, I run races with my people and I always win the races with my people. Turtle says, I always win the races against my people too. I have an idea, Mr. Turtle said to Coyote. Why don't we have a race against each other? Coyote thought, sure, I'll race a turtle. So, Mr. Coyote, they set up the date for two days later to have their race. Mr. Coyote goes off and he goes to speak to his people. And he wants to tell his people all about the race he's going to have with Turtle. And that turtles, you know, are not fast. They move rather slow. And he knows that he's going to be able to win that race without any problem. So he tells his people to come to the race that day and to place bets on him so they can win a lot of money when Coyote wins the race against Turtle. Well, Turtle had his own plans. He knew Coyote can be a trickster, a person that likes to play tricks on people. So he called together all of his people and he talks with them about the race and tells them, you know, Coyote is a trickster and we're going to play a trick on him instead. If some of you will paint your shells like mine, 
Coyote always runs with his head down when he's running. He doesn't look at who he's racing against very often. So he really won't be able to tell us apart. And I'm going to put a feather in my headband, a yellow feather to let Coyote be able to see me on the trail from a long distance. So the other turtles, that sounded like a good idea. And they would station themselves along the race trail. And when one turtle would get tired, he would drop down into the tall grass and another one would pop up far out ahead of Mr. Coyote. Well, that was the plan. So the day of the race arrives and Coyote shows up with his people and Turtle shows up with his people and his feather in his head and his headband. And that's so Coyote can see him at a distance. Now Coyote will know how far ahead he is. And well, they take off for the race. One, two, three. Shoot, Coyote takes off running fast on all four feet. And Turtle just going along as fast as he can. And pretty soon this turtle because there are many other turtles out there who painted their shell just like his and they are hiding in the tall grass waiting their turn while they station themselves out this is not turtle his friend this is somebody else and they take off and this turtle goes slow and pretty soon he gets tired and he drops down and another turtle pops up way out ahead of Mr. Coyote. And my coyote looks up and he goes, how did he get out there so far? Well, I can catch him if I run really fast. So he runs and runs and runs. And this happens again. Coyote gets in front. And pretty soon this turtle drops down and shoop, another turtle way on out in front of Coyote. Well, this happens often on throughout the whole race until finally, at very last, after Coyote has passed that turtle, this one's tired and it's almost at the end, and he drops down, shoop, and up, whoop, pops the real Mr. Turtle, and he crosses the finish line right ahead of Coyote, while all of the turtles jump up and down as best they can, and they celebrate the win of Turtle against Coyote. And Coyote, he hangs his head down low, and he goes off in the tall grass, afraid of what his people are going to do, because they are not happy at losing their bets. And he hides in the grass, moaning, hmm, I wonder, I don't understand. Just how did Turtle win that race? And Turtle never told. And that is the story of the race between the coyote and the turtle. Look at Mr. Turtle. Whoopsie. This is not cooperating today. There we go. He opened up and got him. He is in the bathtub taking a bath. There's his brush and some bubbles, and he's just having a good old time. Okay. Look at the turtle in the tub. Soapy water. Rub-a-dub-dub. Soapy bubbles. Boop, boop. And soapy fun. How many soapy turtles are there? One. We have one soapy turtle. Okay, ready for some more? We have, look at the turtles on the rug. Yeah, rumble, tumble, thump, and thud. Hmm, rumbly, tumbly, whoop, <laughs> wow, yeah. How many rumbly, tumbly turtles are there? Ready to help me count? There's one, two, two, two turtles on the rug. Ready for another one? I wonder how many turtles are going to be in this picture. Can you guess? 
Hmm, let's see. We have some sandy turtles. They're at the beach playing in the sand. They've got their buckets and their shovels. Yeah, yeah. But look at the turtles in the sand. Handy dandy. Oh, sand is grand. They have sandy elbows and sandy knees. How many sandy turtles are there? Can you count with me? Let's see. One, two, three. We have three sandy turtles. Ready to do another one? Here we go. Oh, we have muddy turtles. Look at the turtles in the mud. Wow, they're having fun. Look at the turtles in the mud. Muddy puddles. Oh, thump and thud. Mud to mix and mud to pour. How many muddy turtles are there? Ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four muddy turtles. Good job. Okay, ready for another one? Here we go. This is the last one. Do you know what number it's going to be? Can you figure it out? Well, can you count with Miss Sharon? Here we go. Let's see. <gasps> we have out. Look at the turtles in the pool, in the water, in the pool. Splishy, splashy. Oh, they're nice and cool. Yeah. Look at the turtles. There's time to splash and time to whoop, dive. Oh, how many splashy turtles do we have? Help me share and count. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five splashy turtles. Well, good job helping me count. Yay. All right. Well, in North Carolina, we have a turtle that has a funny name. Its name is a box turtle. I wonder why it's called a box turtle. Here's a picture of a real box turtle. Box turtles have shells that have a hinge on them to where it lets it close up. They can pull in their hind legs and their tail and their front legs and their head and close it all up tight when they're scared or when they're ready to sleep. It helps protect them. Well, did you know that box turtles live all over the United States and in Mexico as well? Yeah. There's different kinds of box turtles. Yeah, there's some that are called Eastern box turtles like we have in North Carolina. There's some that's called a Florida, Florida box turtle that lives in Florida. Yeah, there's one that's called the Gulf Coast turtle that lives down around the Gulf Coast. So each turtle kind of is named for the region where it lives. Turtles can live in the wild to be anywhere from 50, to a hundred years old. Yeah, and box turtles can grow all the way up to the size of 20 centimeters, which is about seven inches. Yeah, and that's just some fun information about the Eastern box turtle that you might find out in your yard or in the forest or down by the pond here in North Carolina. Okay, that craft is going to be making your own little turtle. And let me show you mine. He's a little turtle made out of cupcake paper and construction paper. And you're going to need your own green construction paper or cardstock. If you've got green cardstock, that will work. You're going to, of course, need either children's scissors if you're doing your own cutting or adult scissors for someone who's helping you. You can either use crayons or you can use markers, okay, to draw on your, your cupcake paper. And you're going to need a ruler and a pencil, which Miss Sharon seems to not have on her bucket, but you will want a pencil to be able to, to measure off your seven inches by one half inch size for the legs. And I believe it's a two inch by uh, one inch square that you're going to need for the head. So an adult can help you with that measurement and help you get those cut things cut. But once you've got that done, you're going to want to cut it out. And first of all, you're going to take your cupcake paper 
you're going to squish it out flat. Then you're going to take either your marker or your crayons and you're going to draw some kind of a pattern on your cupcake paper. And it's not one I need to draw on my hand very well, but you're going to draw onto your cupcake paper a um, pattern for your um, turtle. Then at that point, after you finish coloring that, you are going to glue your legs inside, okay? And glue your head. Then when you turn it over, you're going to want to draw your face on your turtle head. And then when you're finished, your turtle will look like mine. Your colors will be different, of course. And he's, he's your turtle. So then you'll have him where you can put him on your dresser or on a bedside table, or maybe on the dining room table as a table place uh, setting for everybody at dinner tonight. And I hope you enjoy making your own turtle craft. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye. Yeah, so our bye song is a whole lot like our welcome song. But instead of saying hello, we're going to say goodbye by waving our hand. So it'll be goodbye and take our two friends. They're going to friends and time and say. Ready? Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.